Hello, my name is Dina Kleiman. In this video, we will talk about the SharePlex product architecture and then discuss the basic process of troubleshooting SharePlex issues. First, a quick review. SharePlex for Oracle provides high-speed log-based replication between Oracle instances on Sun, AIX, HP, Linux, and Windows platforms. The illustration on the screen explains the basic SharePlex replication process. On the source system, the capture process reads the Oracle archive or redo logs, then makes a copy of the data and sends it to the capture queue. The read process reads the capture queue and prepares the data for transport across the network and then places that data into the export queue. The export process transports the replicated data across the network to the target system. On the target system, the import process receives the data and sends it to the post queue. The post process reads the post queue, constructs SQL statements for the operations, and applies them to the target objects within the Oracle instance on target. Now, Let's take a look at the basic troubleshooting steps. At the end of this video, you should be able to determine the SharePlex process or the queue that is experiencing the issue, locate the error message first in the event log and then in the appropriate process log. Once you know the error, perform your own search or try to resolve the issue on your own. If you cannot resolve the issue, know which logs to collect and forward to SharePlex support. Let's take a closer look at troubleshooting. Let's say you discover that SharePlex replication is not working. What should you do? First, talk with your source users or DBAs and find out what has been happening on the server prior to the issue. Was anything changed? Was a patch applied? Was the Oracle upgraded? Was there some code release or a large batch job? Then determine which SharePlex process and queue are experiencing the issue. The queue status and show commands in SP Control are good starting points. Then determine the SharePlex version. This is important because the functionality may be different and there may be known issues that are resolved in later versions. The command to get the version is version full. The next step is to review the event log, locate the error message, and cross-reference it with the information you got from show and queue status. Perhaps the data is building up in the capture queue, but the error message is with a read. This is important. You must identify the problematic process prior to moving to the next step. Once you know where the problem is and have the error message, perform a search of SharePlex published documentation. There's a lot of information in the knowledge base, release notes, administrator's guide, reference guide, and installation guide. New information is written daily, so check back often. Your research will also help you determine whether the issue is with the SharePlex product or with a third-party software, such as Oracle, Unix, Linux, or Windows, or whether the issue is with the hardware. For example, post may be stopped with error, but the actual problem may be with Oracle not being able to allocate space. Once you correct the Oracle issue, then the post issue will also resolve. In some instances, it may be necessary to contact the third-party vendor. But what if you cannot resolve the issue? In this case, collect appropriate SharePlex files from the log directory and also the ParamDB file from the data directory. Collect SharePlex, Oracle, and OS version information. You can use version full command in SP Control to get the SharePlex version. If a process is core dumping, then collect the core.out file from Vardar dump directory. This is a small text file, not the large binary file. In most cases, core.out will be generated. 
but in some cases it may not. So if you do not find it, document that you looked, but the file is not there. Also document the work that you have performed so far, so this way it will not be duplicated. Describe your replication setup. Is it one way, peer-to-peer, -peer, high availability? Also, whether this is a test or production, and explain the urgency of the issue. Describe events on the server that led to the error. Once this is documented, then log into SharePlex support, open up a ticket, and include the information gathered and attach the necessary logs. Let's take a look at which logs to collect. For core dump issues, look for core.out and core files in the varder dump directory. The paramdb file, which contains all of your custom parameter settings, is located in the varder data directory. All logs are located in the varder log directory. The main log is named event log. This is the first log you should review. Each process has its own log. We do not recommend reading the process specific logs unless there is an error in the event log and you think that reviewing the process specific log will provide more information. These process specific logs often contain debug messages that on first review may cause you to think there is a problem. The health of the system can be fully gauged from the event log. So unless you see an error in the event log or one of the processes is experiencing an issue, avoid reading the process specific logs. The naming convention is as follows. For capture, the capture log is named ocap.log and its full name includes the source SID and the counter in the name. For read, the log is named reader log or rdr.log and its full name includes the source SID and the counter in the name. Similarly, the post log is often referred to as OPO log or poster log, and its full name includes the source SID, the queue name, and a counter in the name. The export and import processes do not have their own logs. Instead, the information is logged into the event log. And when you turn the debug on, the information will go into a file named trace log. The trace log for export will be on source, and the trace log for import will be on target. Although named the same, these will present separate information in the same way as the event log will show different information between source and target. SharePlex utilities also create their own logs. For copy utilities on source, look for sync server log. For copy utility logs on target, look for sync client logs. The compare logs on source are named DESVR log and on target they're named DECLT log. The activation log is located on the source system where the config file was activated and is named oconf.log. Now let's take some time to review and match up the process with its log file. To summarize, in this video we have reviewed SharePlex basic architecture and learned how to determine which SharePlex module is experiencing the issue, which logs to review in order to locate the error message, where to gather information to resolve the issue, for example, support link, admin guide, release notes, and so on, how to collect the appropriate logs for each process, what to do prior to contacting SharePlex support, and what information to forward to SharePlex support to ensure a quicker time to resolution. Here are some links to some common issues and resolution. The majority of the issues tend to be with the post process and some are a result of Oracle issues on the target server. Feel free to pause this video so that you may copy down these links. You can also search the knowledge base for these error messages. 
all documentation and product downloads are available on support link. Here you can search the knowledge base, download the admin, reference, and install guides. If you're looking for a list of supported SharePlex versions, refer to the product lifecycle list. For a list of known issues and upgrade instructions, refer to the release notes. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful day.